Operations Management, Chapter 12, Event 3, Management. Operations managers establish system for managing inventory. First, how inventory items can be classified. Second, how accurate inventory records can be maintained. The economy order quantity or EOQ model is one of the most commonly used inventory control techniques. This technique is relatively easy to use but it based on several assumptions. Demand is known, constant and independent. Lead time is known and constant. Receipt of inventory is instantaneous and complete. Quantity discount are not possible. Only variable costs are set up or ordering and holding. Stock up can be completely avoided. With this Assumption, the graph of inventory usage over time has a sawtooth shape, as in figure 12.3. Q represents the amount that is ordered. If this amount is 500 dresses, all 500 dresses arrive at one time. Thus, the inventory level jump from 1 to 500 dresses. In general, an inventory level increases from 1 to Q units when the order arrives. Because demand is constant over time, inventory drop at a uniform rate over time. Each time the inventory is received, the inventory level again jumps to Q units. This process continues indefinitely over time. The objective of most inventory models is to minimize total cost. With the assumptions just given, significant costs are set up costs and holding costs. By minimizing the sum of set up and holding costs, total costs are minimized. Optimal order size quantity will minimize total cost. A reduction in either cost reduces the total cost. Optimal order quantity occurs when holding cost and setup cost are equal. There are four necessary steps to minimize cost. Develop an expression for setup or ordering cost. Develop an expression for holding cost. Set up order cost equal to holding cost and solve the equation for the optimal order quantity. Using the following variables, we can determine setup and holding costs and solve for the optimum number of units per order. Annual setup cost equal to number of orders placed per year multiply by set up or order cost per order. Annual holding cost equal to average inventory level multiplied by holding cost per unit per year. Optimal order quantity is found when annual set up cost equals annual holding cost. Let's look at example 3, finding the optimal order size at Sharp Incorporation. Sharp Incorporation, a company that market painless needles to hospital would like to reduce its inventory cost by determining the optimal number of needles to obtain per order. The annual demand is 1,000 units. The setup or ordering cost is $10 per order and the holding cost per unit per year is $0.50. Cents. 
Using these figures, we can calculate the optimal number of unit per orders, which now we get 200 units. Next example 4 is try to compute number of orders and time between orders at sharp incorporation. Sharp incorporation has a 250 day working year and wants to find the number of orders and the expected time between orders. First, let us determine expected number of order. Using this equation, number of order is equal to demand divided by order quantity, which is 1000 divided by 200 equal to 5 orders per year. Next is to determine optimal time between orders. The expected time between orders T equal to Number of working days per year divided by expected number of orders. 250 divided by 5, which is equal to 50 days between orders. In this example 5, is computing combined cost of ordering and holding. Sharp Incorporation wants to determine the combined annual ordering and holding costs. To determine the total annual cost, we need to add setup costs with holding costs. By using this equation, the total annual cost is equal to 100. These are the annual setup and holding costs. The 100 total cost does not include the actual cost of good. Notice that in the EOQ model, holding cost always equals setup cost. This is example 5. It shows computing combined cost of ordering and holding. Sharp incorporation wants to determine the combined annual ordering and holding costs. Based from data from example 3 and 4, we got these variable values. To determine the total annual cost, we need to add setup cost with holding costs. Then we get the value $100. The benefit of EOQ model is that it is robust. By robust, we mean that it gives satisfactory answers even with substantial variation in its parameter. As we have observed, Determining accurate ordering costs and holding costs for inventory is often difficult. Consequently, a robust model is advantageous. The total cost of the EOQ changes little in the neighborhood of the minimum. The curve is swallow. This means that variation in setup cost, holding cost, demand, or even EOQ make relatively modest differences in total cost. Let's look at example 6. EOQ is a robust model. Management in the sharp incorporation examples underestimate total annual demand by 50%. Say demand is actually 1,500 needles rather than 1,000 needles. 
Well, using the same queue, how will the annual inventory cost be impacted? We will swap for annual cost twice. First, we apply the wrong EOQ. Then, we recompute cost with the correct EOQ. First, let us find how we get the number of optimal number of needles to order when annual demand is 1,000 units and when annual demand is 1,500 units. First, we need to apply the wrong EOQ. Then, we recompute cost with the correct EOQ. If demand is actually 1,500 needles rather than 1,000, but management use an order quantity of Q equal to 200, the sum of holding and ordering costs increase to 125. However, had we known that the demand was for 1,500 with an EOQ of 244.9 units, we would have spent 122.47 as shown. Note that the expenditure of 125 made with an estimate demand that was substantially wrong is only 2% higher than we would have paid had we know the actual demand and cover accordingly. Note also that were it not due to rounding, the annual holding cost and ordering cost would be exactly equal. That's all. Thank you.